today's session is on uh, pencil color drawing and i will be showing you still life uh, drawing and giving shade in a still life and it is going to be a very fast one so stay connected with us we have live sessions every week if you are joining for the first time please subscribe the channel and press the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any art action on our channel and uh, let's start quickly so i'll be showing you how you give uh, how do you draw and give detail to a pencil color drawing i am showing you a simple still life of lemons so first we draw and then after that you can make the pencil mark light so that the pencil marks are not visible when you color them and now i will start coloring these are yellow and i want to show shine here so what i will do i will make the pencil marks slightly light this is normally i do because i don't want the pencil marks to be visible so i am gently making them light if the color use is very light now let's start quickly uh, since this is in a curve so we have to shade the pencil colors in a curve so watch how do you give shading first i am doing the boundary the pencil colors appear to be easy but uh, the color blending is not like in watercolor or any other acrylic medium because here the colors are dried so we have to blend them by mixing different shades so if we are i have to shade yellow then i have to shade in such a way that the yellow is blended with another yellow because i am making a still life and in fact in any drawing we have to follow the same sequence of having three tones so here i have to use yellow and i am doing quickly and i will try to get it as much closer to reality the challenge in pencil colors is that the pencil marks should not be visible there is a realism there is hyper realism depending upon how much is your observation so first i am finishing it with light yellow so start from the light tone and then move on to the area where there is a dark so i have started with yellow and this portion is yellow and there is a shine here which i want to use to show a curve in the drawing now the pencil movement you are seeing is in a circular path now there are two lemons which i have to show and both of them are close to each other so since both of them have same shade therefore we have to differentiate them also that they are uh, they appear to be separate we will not make them like normally people do it should be separate and easily differentiable so first i am filling one and i will be leaving a portion very light i want to show a shine here so now in this area there is a dark yellow and i will not put pressure of pencil i am moving the pencil continuously in an area then it becomes dark so you should not apply pressure of pencil now here i have to uh, rub the pencil and in this area i will leave it white
now what is the technique of pencil colors pencil colors why i have chosen because we have different sessions we were having session on sketching and using of watercolor and clay and different medium but the pencil color thing came because uh, this involves lot of understanding of shade and people said that they want to understand how do you give shade so here you are seeing that i have left this area almost white but now in between i will apply a very light tone of yellow now this area is to be done yellow now the other area the other uh, lemon also has to be done so here also the color is same so you are seeing that the movement of pencil is the color pencil is uh, in a curved direction so this is curved so i have to move the pencil in a curve now you are seeing this as a complete video there is no step hidden there is nothing fast forward so you will be able to see each step of how do you get the detail so we i have done in the same manner from the outer side boundary i am filling it with yellow and in the lower side also it will be yellow with a dark shade so first i will fill it with light tone then i will come to the middle tone which is the next middle tone which will be brownish yellow and then the dark tone with detailing of shade and round effect on the object now this area needs a shine so uh, since to show the object in round i have to leave this area with a white now we will try to get as much closer to the object that is a uh, try to get as much similarity to the object now i am just filling the color and the pencil movement again i am saying repeating don't put pressure of pencil just move the pencil so that there is a color visible but the pencil pressure uh, should not leave any mark on the paper because when you will apply a next tone then the color will get filled and stuck now this area involves the use of a paper so i am using i can use a brush ek i'll show you that i can use a round brush or i can use a flat brush and produce a mixing in the color you can rub it with a finger you can use brush you can use a tissue paper and you can use a normal paper also i am taking a small paper piece and i will rub it over the color and the color move, uh, movement of the paper should be in a circular path so that the stroke marks of the color become blended so you move
move it in a circular path and the object will have enough round roundness in it when you are filling the color and moving it then this is what you have to keep in mind so first layer is applied this is the branch or the stick stem or the stalk of the root by which it is attached to the stem or the branch this also is light green now this also will have a trace of yellow so first i have done green now i am filling it with yellow and this yellow will help me in getting the uh, margins or the ribs which are there in a leaf and i'll do this part also with a yellow so before we come to the stem let's do the lemon with a little bit more of yellow there will be a use of little bit of brown and a little bit of red or orange which is not orange but it will blend and it will give a texture to the drawing now how will you make it round and how will you give it a curve that is important now let's start from this one and i am using brown now so starting from the outer side a light brown shade will be done to mark the boundary and there is a texture of the fruit which has to be created uh, again this color which is brown you should not again put pressure now this is the boundary of this one and this one therefore this the left side uh, lemon i will do which is away from light this area is away from light therefore this lemon will have more of the darkness so first i am filling it with brown now some of the pencil colors have got if you go and buy bigger pen, pencil color sets then they have got lot of shades so that is entirely up to you if you have lot of varying shades then tones are easy to get now i am rubbing the brown and from the dark brown will help me in getting the roundness 
now the texture of lemon is not smooth it has small holes in it so those have to be created now the upper part is having a curve here there is a curve here also so i have done just watch detailing now we will give detail with the help of some more color a little bit of dark brown and little bit of black also will be used but first i am using light brown then i can blend the color also and at different places i will put dark brown now this is not the way of shading this is the first layer of light uh, i have to spread this color now i will make the movement of the color light and this area will be shaded with the middle tone of light brown and over this i will rub a little bit of yellow also now rub this brown and come to this area and move the pencil in a circular path the movement is in a circular path now here also now when i i will come to the detailing then the effect will come out and the same shade will go on the other one also so here also i have to use light brown and don't just make an outline uh, some areas which are away from light will be shaded with light brown and it will not be a uniform shade it has to be varying shade like you are seeing some areas are dark and some areas are light so here also the shading will be from this the right side lemon and it will go and curve here now vary the shade use yellow and now i am using brown to give a texture to this so apply this and rub the paper over the shading so in between i will be rubbing the paper you will get an idea that the color mixture and the blending comes by rubbing a shade Now there has to be dark brown applied when i will rub dark brown over this yellow it will give it a nice golden shade now 
now at different places i have to put brown and this is the lower end of the uh, fruit now i have to give more detail to one side so the left hand side will have a darker tone and now i am making it round so i have to give more detail to the outer boundary so move the pencil in such a way that the color is scattered and i have to use a little bit of brown as well as orange now this when i will rub with the yellow it will give it a golden shine so you are seeing that i am rubbing a slight orange over the yellow and it will give it a yellow brightness and the texture i will show you how do you develop the texture the lemon has got small minute holes so first i want to create a golden effect in the fruit so i am rubbing this color and it will not be rubbed in the same way everywhere this area is bright and in this area i want it to be golden the lemon is actually lemon shine which is uh, bright yellow it is called it called lemon yellow so that shade is to be uh, you have to get that shade and the round effect on the lemon has to be obtained now i will rub this yellow over the whole place and this brown i am rubbing in this area now the edge has to be made slightly more dark so i will move the color in one area and then over this i will put a dark uh, a black shade so you watch that what happens when i do this brown and then i rub it with a little bit of black now this looks too much of white so i will rub yellow in this area some more yellow will be done and i have to leave this area this portion to be white so here i will not put too much of yellow i want to show a shine on the uh, on this lemon and the roundness will come when i will rub it with brown so first let's make it more shining more yellow lemon yellow 
uh, over this I am rubbing a little bit of orange so it will become to have a shine now these areas are there where I will put the color in different places I will not fill it full yellow some areas I will fill like this I will show you a close up now I will randomly dab the pencil meaning I am moving the pencil but I am not moving it flat I am moving it with dots Now over this I will fill with a little bit of dark brown and now this is dark brown and over this I will rub black in some areas. Now black should not be filled everywhere as an outline you have to just show the sh a minor effect on the outer side like I am doing. So this creates a round effect on the boundary of this fruit. So there is use of brown and dark brown. Now this dark brown will be added in the boundary now this gives it a round effect now on the outside of this just put a very less part of brown Now this is the round effect which I want to create. So now I am giving some detail with this brown in different areas. Now over this a small effect of black in some areas. So it will make it round with depth 3d effect will come again everywhere it will not be done in some areas it will be done so in the bottom and this is how it will look and now we will follow the same thing on the right side of the so let's see if you are doing it try out this drawing this is dark brown with the same effect I am moving the brown here and near this edge here there is a brown effect which I want to put this 
दिस इज रेडिश ब्राउन now from the lower side there is a yellow which i have left and here i want to give it a round shape and here i will put a brown but in a curved manner this is the edge or the bottom now reddish brown will help in getting the shape curved now as i was using orange when i will you rub orange over this yellow it will make it look bright it will make the yellow bright or golden it will become more of lemon so first i will quickly rub it with yellow then over this i will fill the orange and again the orange has to be done by dabbing the color first i want to rub and give it a round shape will give it a round effect now there is a leaf which i want to show but let's first do the boundary or the shape of the lemon so this yellow and orange will blend and it will give a nice shine to the lemon so you type that how did you like it if you have tried it for the first time then also please comment and if you have seen it and you want more or any suggestions you have there is an email given there is a, you can type below this video this area i want to be more of golden yellow because there is brown here so here when i will put yellow and then over that orange it will make it have a nice golden shine now this is giving it a shine and over this i will fill a little bit more of brown and a golden brown now move the pencil in a circular path in the lower side then you can rub it with paper now over this i will rub dark brown so the blending of two or three of this helps in given a nice shine and a curve to the drawing
Now let's give it a round effect by putting a black. So when I will put black over this brown, it will make it dark brown. So everywhere it is not filled. We we'll fill it in some areas. Now let's do a shade in the background to show a shadow. Now this is a curve, so the shadow will also be slightly different. First I am filling a very light blue over this then I will rub and give it a outline from the lower side and this will go till here. So this shading should not be dark. I have to just fill it like this and over this I will fill now a little bit of black tone in the shading. So softly you will fill it and give the shade now in some areas of this lower side you fill it with dark or a black and this will help in giving it a round shade Now let's spread this shading of or the shadow of these in the background and here in this part the shadow will be slightly darker. So first I am filling it with a little bit of blue over this. Now here I will fill it with dark black. So now let's come to the upper part. Now this is the stem, so I want to show a slight yellow shine and the leaf I am doing now, it is a green and I am using two shades of green, light green and dark green And they will be filled not only with green but with a little bit of brown also. So first the midrib of the leaf I am creating, uh, a boundary I am creating. So the midrib which is the center portion of the leaf has to be done by uh, leaving it with 
little bit of yellow now with brown what will happen see the texture of the leaf has to be created so i am using brown the leaf of the lemon has got green texture but it has it i want to show that it is having some sort of fungus in it so i am rubbing it with brown over this i will rub green so it will give it a texture it will give it a nice texture so see this is the light green we rub it now this center part which appears white i have will fill it with yellow and now dark brown you can make leaf directly normally if you are told people are told they uh, <clears throat> directly rub green and yellow but here uh, texture i want to create now i will use brown and i am now rubbing the brown but with in a dot form i am dabbing it with use of green and over this yellow also now add a little bit of dark green in some areas here i want to use dark green and there is a fold in this leaf here now over this i want to use a shine so here i am using dark now i want to create a surface so this black which i am doing is over brown and over green 
and it will create an effect of a surface which is there are folds on the leaf so that I want to create Now brown will help in creating the texture. So just move the brown with in the form of dots and in a curve. And the leaf is done, but I want to show, give it more realistic. So the 3D and the shine will come when I will vary the shade. Everywhere the shade should not be same. There is a reflection I want to create. So a shadow of the leaf on this lemon I want to show. So this is the shadow which I have want to create. Like this. And this fold will come when I will bring yellow and black and this is the shadow of the leaf on the lemon. So if you have liked it, please give a like to the video and subscribe the channel if you have still not subscribed. There is a lot of action in the coming time. A uh, lot of amazing sessions will be there. So stay connected with us and join us in the coming session. And if you have any suggestions, please come to the video and type. And definitely you can send your work on the email given below for any help you want. I will be more happy, more than happy to help you out. So see you in the next session. Goodbye and take care.